So I didn't think, I didn't know at the time, but I was totally fascinated. So long story short, it was a guy I was buying glass from. He used to come to Wichita and he was from Emporia State where they had a glass program. And I talked to him and before I knew it, I, I told him I'd sign up for his glass class that fall. And I went there and, you know, I was 38 years old when I picked up a blowpipe for the first time, but it's sort of like a, a middle-aged guy falls in love with his teenage secretary. That's what I was like, only it was glass. Okay. Thank God it wasn't bass fishing. I would have starved to death. But uh, so I took, I went there for a semester and it took me about, I was going three times a week. So I was driving round trip three times a week was about 12 hours of driving. So I figured I could build a little furnace and practice at home and I would. Is that what you did? I did, you yeah. So I built a furnace and, and people, it was very poor glass, but people were fascinated by it. So, uh, and so was I. And, and I had a little dough put back, but man, I had actually quit my job, the sales job to be a woodworker. And so it cost a lot of money to start a business. And I'd spent most of my dough getting going that wood business, then to come home one day and told Patty I wanted to be a glass blower. And so it was like. What did she say? She uses, I've been a, she was a good sport about it. She said, okay. And uh, so she had kept her job and, and then she registered nurse. So she made really, really good money. And, uh, and I had a little money left, but not, it wasn't enough to start another business. So we really, it was a struggle, but um, my son, and then he had a little buddy that hung around with him and they, they helped me. I turned them into glassmakers. <laughs> And uh, um, neighbor helped out. Brother-in-law came to work for me. Eventually, it became very, very lucrative.